Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TNR. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. So the saga continues and I'm going to do something with this one because I was happy and not happy in between somewhere. Although a lot of you liked it and gave me amazing suggestions. So one of the lovely lovely followers uh, just said that I need to embellish it. So I'm going to do that. So this is going to be part two of the original video that I have done. So here we go and this is Elmer's glue and I'm going to pour this glue on the top of this. Although for this uh, what I was thinking that I wanted a very fine sand but I don't have the fine sand with me at the moment. So I will be work with, working with what I have. So first of all Elmer, Elmer's glue will be going on top of this. So simply this will be, uh, will be acting as a glue. Also with the help of a brush I will be uh, spreading this glue onto all of this piece. So it's like a journey for me just sharing all the steps that I'm doing for creating that perfect water effect because water is very difficult to master. It's water although it looks so simple and soothing but it is such difficult to capture that beauty of the water. So uh, what I realized that the um, texture that I created for the for the effect was really very deep so I need a little uh, not so deep area. So I'm filling this with Elmer's glue just to uh, I'm sure if you were getting me that I'm going to fill these uh, these holes so I get the less less of the deeper version so this is what I'm doing here so it's all done now and after doing that uh, I'm just checking out for the glue to be filled up I have taken this sand it is a bit on the coarse side I use this sand to make the make the fake crystals but at the moment I had this uh, available so I will be pouring this all onto the top of this so it's going to be a layer so now if you're thinking that what i am thinking is that when you see a very calm amazing beautiful uh, beach the sand on beneath the water is actually the thing that is creating the texture the design on the top the water is smooth so the effect that we see is because of that the sand is creating so yeah so next is my task to buy some sand and create that effect and then pour the resin on top of it So yeah, I have removed the excess uh, sand from the top of this uh, piece but still I can see that it's not really fine but I just wanted to see, I want to do it so that's why I'm doing it and I'm just putting up the rest of the sand on the places where there is no. So now I'm going to let it dry and I will do everything next day. So this is the next day, it's all been dried now and I'm just putting it back into the mold so that in this way the resin don't go everywhere. So these are the two shades of the epoxy pigments that I'm using. These are transparent, uh, blue and uh, green. And I will be pouring this. Uh, actually, I will be pouring a very thin layer of resin instead of doing a very deep one. And with the help of this uh, heat gun, I'm just spreading the resin. Also, thank you so much for your amazing feedback on my videos. I really appreciate your help and support and amazing advices that I get. So I hope that I keep on cre creating so I get connected with you all to get such an amazing, amazing, lovely feedbacks. So what I'm doing here is uh, just using the heat gun and spreading this that resin just to be thin layer. And after that, I will be pouring this green color again. I will be doing the same. It's going to be uh, a very thin layer of resin and after that, the third color is transparent resin. And now with the help of a heat gun, I will be just spreading it. So this is how it's looking like and now I'm going to embellish it. So I will be keeping it uh, on the simpler side. I will be adding a little bit of shells and some green foliage. That's it. So I'm just placing the shells or, or onto different places now. So 
and some green foliage that's it So the center of this uh, piece is a bit on the uh, upper side so I thought I'll just create a little island in the center. So just taking some of the resin and I'm going to put this so it's going to be a little island in the center. And now I leave it to cure and I will see you next day. So this is the next day and it's time to demold. It's quite simple but I think it is perfect because I don't want to overcrowd it. So this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to show you what's the final result. So this is the final result and I think I am loving it and I'm getting a closer on the design I'm thinking for. And going for but still it is looking pretty I'm happy about it now I'm happy about it so one thing I want to tell you is that don't stop watching here because there is something coming and you will definitely love it what I did with this one this is not the finished product And if you thought that this is done, no, it's not done. We are still doing something to it. And here comes the fun part. I am using UV resin. And what I am using UV resin for, you will be seeing in a moment. So I'm going to put this test tube. So this is going to be a, now you guessed it, it's going to be a home decor, a plant holder. So after putting this tube, I will leave this to cure under the UV lamp. Just making sure that I have put the UV resin all the way. And I was so happy that I thought about this. It is a beautiful decor but I want to make it useful. So now it's going under the UV lamp and the second thing you will be seeing is the final look of this decor item and I hope you like it. So let's see. So this is the final look of the decor item. I just love it that it is something that I made is functional and functional art is always amazing and also a touch of greenery. So I think it turned out to be amazing. So I hope you like it also. And if you did, please do let me know in comments and also please like, subscribe and share. Thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed, please consider do so and take good care of yourself. Bye bye.